In Sudan, the death toll has now risen to at least 100 people after torrential rain caused a major dam to burst. Just another disaster for this country, already plagued by civil war and acute food shortages. Here's CNN's Paula Newton. Dozens dead as floods ravage an already crumbling Sudan. We lost everything and we could barely rescue our families. The water washed away our farms, vehicles, livestock and crops. It's the worst water flows I've seen in my life. Locals are burying their neighbours as more than 100 people are found dead due to severe floods. According to government officials, flash floods in the country caused a dam in eastern Sudan to burst. It swept through villages, destroying more than 12,000 homes. The UN says the death toll could still be higher. Many people are still missing under the rubble. The situation is catastrophic, to be honest. We have children, families and elderly and others that need continuous medication, and this is the fourth day. The water came onto them and destroyed all the villages, and we don't know the circumstances they are going through now. The aftermath of these floods could be more fatal still in Sudan, a country already plagued by civil war. A new independent report found that more than 20,000 people have been killed in Sudan since the start of the conflict in April 2023. The country is suffering from a humanitarian crisis. According to the UN, more than half of the population faces acute hunger. The growing crisis affects the education of millions of children as well, with schools in Sudan either destroyed or shut down. I have lost my normal life and my dreams have been shattered. I aspire to become a doctor, but with the school closed, I feel as though my future and the meaning of life have slipped away. The arrival of aid complicated by a civil war that continues to ravage the country. As peace talks in Switzerland led by the U.S. and Egypt are ramping up, so too are diplomatic efforts to secure food and medicine. For the first time in six months, humanitarian aid resumed in Sudan's famine-threatened Darfur region. The convoy of food is a short but much-needed relief to the thousands of people at the brink of this tragedy. Now in the eastern part of the country, thousands are reeling with the aftermath of floods. People are cut off from the capital, Port Sudan, and many are searching for the bodies of their loved ones. Paula Newton, CNN.